So the second tool of module one, what is called the truth mirror. This is a tough one and I'll be honest, this is the one that I use on a daily basis. This is always up and I always see this, but it is one of the most challenging tools that's actually on the course because it's very much about calling yourself out and goes back to that first video about being very truthful. The concept of the tool is you're holding up the mirror and being very truthful with that reflection that you see. And the question to ask is, what is it that you don't like to see in that mirror? This is all a bit about ego. This is about vulnerability. This is about opening it up as well. So this is a very personal tool. Simple again to use, but very complex then is about what you take from it. So I first of all start on this side <clears throat> where there is a number of things that I've tried to identify there that could be you. So I'm very honest with myself that I can be very lazy. I have a natural trait or personality way of being that I can revert to being quite lazy. I can get into my comfort zone very quickly and I like it there. It makes me feel secure makes me feel safe. But I also understand through all the techniques that I use around self-awareness and the choice to think that that's not me. And this is where I call myself out and I have to start to rely on myself to make those changes, to instigate those actions, those behaviours, that change in mindset. But it goes deep sometimes because I also know that I'm not very confident sometimes. And I can talk myself out of things. So it's a tough, tough tool. And it's one that has a lot of personal meaning. And it goes back to that face it to fix it. We have to go internally wise. Really start to want to face it before we then can start to fix it. So you might be in your comfort zone. You might smoke too much, you might eat too much, you might be out of condition, you might work too hard and neglect other things and that accumulation is starting. So take some time with this mirror, be very truthful and honest, don't press the buttons, don't press the justified button or the self-pity button, draw a line, impose it on yourself. Take some you time, some solitude time to really write down the things that you don't like to see. What's the justify? You know deep down if you carry on doing those things that it may lead you to a certain consequence and that day of reckoning. You might have those insecurities. I have them. I, I know that when I'm around people maybe of importance, my insecurities come in and I start to think that people are better than me and I start to worry about other people's opinions. But I'm aware of it now and that's the power of these tools. Again, they're asking you the questions that create that awareness and then you choose what you want to do. And then you can start to rely on yourself and put your actions together. So... Please be honest. Look at those suggestions. You might have your own that you deep down know. You know that maybe you take the path of least resistance. You know that you might gossip too much or you, you know you might tell those little white lies. Everybody's individual. Everybody has their challenges to face. So there's no right or wrong here. The right is for you to be very honest with yourself and use this mirror. Call yourself out. When I look into my mirror, what is it I don't like to see? What are the behaviours, the habits that you don't like to see? What are the behaviours, habits, faults, insecurities, attitudes that I can start to fix? Start with one. Don't try and do everything. I tried this when I first started and I put this tool together. I wrote it all down. I impacted it all. I got really excited. Great intention. And then to apply it, I just got lost. There was too much. I wasn't, I wasn't strong enough. I hadn't built myself up. 
So I started first with just one thing. Stop this, John. Stop this bad habit. Stop worrying what other people think. And I started there. And then I just every day called myself out and started to rely on myself. And one of the great things that has come from this tool, from my own personal experience, is I became reliant on self. My self-esteem built, my self-discipline built, my self-confidence built. I started to understand myself. I was very honest. It was raw sometimes. It was hard. The, the, the truth talk, I call it, was, it was really hurtful sometimes. And the ego was crying out. But it's built me over time. I'm, I'm much stronger as in resilience. I can cope with stress now. And my anxiety is reduced because I'm very honest with myself. And the second part of the mirror is around goals. So what I do here is I get those little post-it notes and I write my daily goals down on it. I write my weekly goals and my monthly goals and what I call my must-do goals and I see it. I have a little room in my house and these tools are up, they're everywhere. I see them all the time because they encourage me. They bring things forth into my mind and they help me with that structure. And this is why I'm so passionate about the tools and using them. And again, going back to that teaching and learning twice. So again, there might be somebody out there that you know who's going to really benefit from this tool. Now, some of it's quite private, so you might want to just introduce them to the tool and talk them through it and let them find their own way. Help them understand around the goals. Be very specific with the goals. Demand it of yourself. Impose it on yourself. This is one thing around this tool is nobody's going to come and do it for you. I realise this. I have to do this myself. I want to do this myself. I choose to do this myself. There is things there that I want to change. I choose to change my mindset, the opinions of other people. I was running around not being me because I was worried what other people thought of me. And I was never unique. I was never authentic. And once I started to really open up this mirror, and I don't like that about myself, where I play this game. I'm, I'm, I'm somebody different in the in the accompaniment of somebody else because I want them to think something of me. I hold the mirror. I'm, I'm a good person. I do good things. And that's the key thing I've realised is that, you know, I'm a genuine, authentic person. That's all I want to be. That's what I choose to be. Why do I then need to change? Because I had these deep insecurities. I wasn't confident. I lost my self-esteem. I was worried about what people might say about me. And this one tool has really enhanced that self bit. And giving me that strength and that resilience. So I hope this tool works. Linked with the state buttons around your thinking and you know the buttons that you can press. This is the one. This is the one that I use daily. I set myself my goals. And one of the important aspects of this tool is you, you review it. You put it up for review. If you don't do something that you say you're going to do. Call yourself out. Review it. Why did I not do that? What got in the way? What distracted me? Did one of my states come up and I started to justify it? Put it up for review. At the end of the week, did I do my weekly goals? At the end of the day, did I do my, week, uh, my daily goals? At the end of the month, did I really commit and promise to do that goal? And if not, what? What happened? And what am I prepared to change? Is it acceptable that I make these commitments to myself daily and weekly and then I'm not doing them? How's that helping my self-esteem and my confidence? Okay, so call yourself out. Again, it might be an insecurity. It might be a trait that you've got that you want to change. And that's the power of this tool. And again, like any tool, some resonate, some don't. Some, some people like this tool and love it and immerse themselves into it. Some people say, that's not for me. That's fine. Everybody has that freedom of choice. You know, there's going to be 11 tools on this whole course. Some will resonate. Some will really work for you. Some won't. But some might work for somebody else. So at least go out and try and teach the tool and work through it. And if it doesn't resonate with you, it might resonate with somebody close to you. So thank you for your time. Thank you for your energy and your focus. 
I hope this helps in some way. The first tools, the first thinking tools, use them, see them, impose that time on yourself to, to work your way through them, go and teach them, put them up somewhere. Don't feel embarrassed. That's another thing, one of my insecurities. I used to feel embarrassed putting my tools up and people, you know, sometimes used to take the mick. I'm, I'm okay with that now. These, these are there for me, not for anybody else. People are always going to have an opinion, right or wrong. How you choose to accept that opinion is entirely up to you. That's your freedom of choice. Again, when you strengthen your mindset, yes, you have an opinion. Thank you for your feedback. But actually, these tools really help me become the person that I want to be. So thank you again. I will see you on the next video. Take care.